Hi everyone, my name is Maria. I'm Harrison. And I'm Karen. And we did our project on the reticulate package. Reticulate is an interface to Python that allows you to engage with Python classes and functions as if they were native to R. When we call it into Python, R data is automatically converted to the equivalent Python types. The justification for this package is that it keeps you from reinventing the wheel. With this package, you can import someone's Python code and use it as your own. To get started with Python as other packages, you begin by running install.packages reticulate. At this point, you may be required to run some commands in the command line, such as these pseudo commands here. That's just to make sure it will run on your machine. Then you can run library reticulate to import the library. There's then a function called pi install scipy. If you run that, it will install a package that provides an interface for installing further Python packages. Here are some equivalent data types and structures to show you the relationship between R and Python. A named list in R is a data frame in Python. A matrix in R is equivalent to a NumPy DRAY. A data frame in R is equal to a pandas data frame or a dictionary in Python. And null, true, and false is equivalent to none, true, and false in Python. And notice that true and false are lowercase. As a data scientist, it is important to know both R and Python. It is helpful to be versatile in many different languages, as each can be useful for different reasons. Say, for example, you create a data frame with Python, but then feel that R will be better at analyzing it. The reticulate package allows you to do just that. You can use the R to Python, R to Py, or Py to R functions to do so. So a quick example of the r to pi function, uh, first you would want to find a data set that you want to use and turn that into a data frame. If you don't have your own data set, you can find one in the r package data sets, which is seen here, so you can import data sets and then use library help data sets. Now we'll show a list of all the possible data sets. Here we're using this one called women, which is the average heights and weights for American women. You can then create make a data frame out of that using data.frame on women, so here you can see it's a data frame. You can then run r to pi women to convert that into an, an r uh, Python dictionary seen here because as we saw up above the equivalent type for a data frame is a dictionary. Um, going the other direction, if we wanted to use the pi to r function, uh, by default Python objects are returned to r as their converted equivalents but if you'd rather make the conversion on your own, you can import using the convert equals false option here. So here we're importing the uh, Python package numpy as np, and then we can now use numpy functionality such as array using np dollar sign array. So here we've just defined a numpy array called a, it's the values one, two, three, and four. We can then run numpy functions on that such as a dollar sign cum sum that will give us a cumulative sum of those values so if we look at sum now you can see it's done a cumulative sum one three six and ten and then we can use pi to r to convert that sum value back into an r vector so now we see that sum is is returned an r vector from the numpy array um, Another useful function in <coughs> uh, reticulate is the pi run file. This allows you to run Python programs from within R. So for example, here we'll see that my path is to R local. And up here in R local, I have a file called pyprogram.py. If we look at that real quick, it's just a very simple program. Prints out 12 to the fifth. And if we can then run that in R, you see it prints out 12 to the fifth. So R ran, we use R to run a Python program. We can also source Python scripts using a similar function called source Python. Um, I have another file here, which is called pyscript.py. You can see it defines a pretty simple function called get max. Uh, it takes in a Python list and returns the maximum value from that list. Um, and then what's interesting is that we can create an R vector and pass that to the Python function and it still would work as expected, returns 9, the maximum value from that vector. So those are some of the fun 
reasons and things you can do with the reticulate package and here are some links that you can follow to learn more about them. One, two, and three. Thank you so much for watching!